On day one, I spawned in as Darth Vader. Hey, wait a second, what gives? This isn't Darth Vader, I'm Anakin Skywalker. Wow. I had spawned in the desert, surrounded by Tusken Raiders. But even worse, all around me was nothing but sand. Oh man, I hate sand. It's coarse, it's rough, and it gets everywhere. Suddenly, before I could get the sand out of my boots, this creepy old guy appeared in front of me. Who are you? <laughs> I am Darth Sidious, Dark Lord of the Sith. So, the Jedi prophecy says that you're the chosen one who will bring balance to the Force. I don't believe it. I bet that I can corrupt you and bring you over to the dark side as my new apprentice. And with a blast of his deadly lightning, he destroyed the nearby camp of Tuscans. All of them. He destroyed all of them. I'll never join you, Sidious. Oh, we'll see, my new apprentice. I'm sure that within a hundred days, you'll fall to the dark side. Otherwise, you won't survive for long out here. And like that, he had disappeared once again, leaving me alone. Oh no, there's no way I'm turning to the dark side. But someone needs to stop Sidious. I'm not gonna beat him like this. I need to do a lot of training to stand any chance at defeating him. On day two, I started making my way through the desert toward the Tuscan village. I thought I'd try to see if there was anything left behind that I could use. I realized I only had five hearts, so I had to be careful. Just then, I was discovered by a patrolling group of battle droids. Darth Sidious must have sent them after me. Halt. Who goes there? Ah, don't hurt me. I'm unarmed. It's the Jedi we were sent here to find. Blast him. Roger, roger. The droids attacked me, and I tried to punch my way out of there. I didn't have anything I could use in my inventory to fend them off, and without any Jedi training, I wasn't going to do much damage at all. Oh no, I can't die yet. In the nick of time, somebody came zooming up to me on a speeder. Hello there. Quick, climb aboard. I hopped on, and he took off, leaving Darth Sidious's battle droids in the dust. Whew, thanks for rescuing me. What's your name? I am Jedi Master, Obi-Wan Kenobi. On day three, Obi-Wan took me to Mos Eisley, a town nearby. The whole place was full of all kinds of aliens and droids. Wow, this place seems cool. Still way too much sand, though. Obi-Wan then took me to Yoda, the head of the Jedi Council. Help you, can we, young Link? I quickly explained that I needed to train in the ways of the Force before my 100 days were over, so Darth Sidious couldn't turn me into his apprentice. Hmm, wary of the dark side you must be. Mindful of your fear, yes? My fear? I'm not afraid. Good, for fear is the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. At any rate, you won't last long on your own. Here's some supplies to get you started on your journey. There's food, some arrows, a bow, and an axe. An axe? But what about my lightsaber? When do I get one of those? You must master patience to begin with. Well, all right then. How do I do that? Kaiju, Obi-Wan will. I will teach you everything I know. I know the ways of the Force, thanks to the teachings of Master Yoda here. That would be amazing, thanks! Does that make me your Padawan? Soon. Listen to Obi-Wan, you will. But beware of the dark side. If once you start down the dark path, forever will it dominate your destiny. Consume you, it will. Don't worry, Master Yoda. I'll be careful. I hopped on Obi-Wan's speeder, and we left as a team. On days four and five, it was finally time to start my training. I cut down some trees and gathered enough wood to make a crafting bench. Afterwards, I made myself a set of wooden tools, ready to go and find some stone. I mined for cobblestone and then upgraded to stone tools as quickly as possible. By the time I was done, the twin suns were beginning to peak over the horizon. Patience. Be mindful, youngling. I listened to Obi-Wan as he taught me, although I was still eager to hurry up and become a Jedi. We worked together to build a base. I cleared out some of the stone and built a room for both Obi-Wan and I to stay in using the materials I had gathered so far. Good job. You've taken your first steps into becoming a great Jedi. You've done well, my Padawan. As we started winding down for the evening, Obi-Wan made some food for us. I ate some, transforming me into a Jedi Padawan learner. I now had 10 hearts. Whoa, I definitely think I'm getting stronger. There's no way I'll fall to the dark side. I'll be a Jedi in no time. You've still got a lot of training ahead of you, but for now, let's get some rest. With the base prepped and night beginning to fall once again, we settled in. I couldn't wait to continue my training in the morning. On days six through eight, we explored more of the desert, looking for more materials. Back inside the caves, we found more of those battle droids terrorizing another droid. He looked pretty different from them, and they were still giving him a hard time. Hey, leave him alone. 
battle droids didn't listen, so I shot them down with my bow and arrow. I still hadn't finished learning the ways of the Force, but I had to do something. They charged me and our battle began! I used a combination of my axe and bow to fend the droids off, but the battle was tough. They weren't strong, but there were a lot more of them than me. They cornered me, hitting me into a wall. Wait a second. Surrender, Jedi. We have you surrounded. I have a bad feeling about this. Just gotta remember what Obi-Wan said. Patience. Our battle continued, and pretty soon it was down to just a few battle droids. Using all of my strength, I pulled back my bow, destroying them all swiftly. Once they were taken care of, I checked on that other droid they'd been hassling. Why, thank you so much for your help. I am C-3PO, Human Cyborg Relations. Nice to meet you. Do you mind if I call you 3PO? Of course not, but I need your help. My companion R2-D2 and I were separated. I'm only a protocol droid, sir. I'm not designed to fight. And goodness knows what will happen to R2 on his own. Leave it to me. I'm sure we'll find your friend. On days 9 and 10, 3PO and I set off to try and find his friend. Even though we had to travel pretty far, we could at least retrace 3PO's steps back to where he and R2 got separated. Soon, we reached the cave where 3PO remembered seeing his fellow droid. This is the place. Oh, do be careful, Master Zozo. I told R2 not to go, but he's faulty, malfunctioning, kept babbling about his mission. I told him he'd be breaking down within a day, the nearsighted scrap pile. I thought you two were friends. Oh, we are, sir. I'm terribly worried about him. I have a bad feeling about this. Keeping my axe at the ready, I snuck my way into the cave. The further I crept, I could hear the sounds of beeping somewhere off in the distance. Hey, R2? Is that you? There was no answer, so I kept searching the cave. That's when I came across R2, surrounded by even more droids. They must have been more of Sidious's, but they looked a lot tougher and meaner than the ones I'd faced before. They had 3PO's friend held prisoner. I tried to sneak closer quietly, but R2 was so desperate to be freed that he couldn't help getting excited when he spotted me coming to rescue him. The commando droids were alerted, and they began their attack. I tried my best to fend them off with my axe, but they all had weapons of their own, and I didn't stand a chance. I had to run, or else they would have finished me off for sure. When I reached the cave entrance, 3PO was still there, waiting for me. Oh goodness, you're back already. Tell me the bad news. Has poor R2 been deactivated, or smashed into who knows what? No, he's alright. But the droids holding him are too strong. I'll have to come back after I've completed more of my training. Come on, you can stay with me and Obi-Wan. On days 11 and 12, I headed back to my base with 3PO following me closely. Once we had made it back safely in one piece, I started making a place for him to stay. I knew he'd probably still be down about his friend, so I hoped it might cheer him up, having a spot all of his own. I built him a room with a crafting bench and a bed. Even droids need a rest from time to time, right? Oh, thank you, Master Zozo. If it's alright with you, I think I'll power down for a while. Before I could reply, 3PO had shut himself off. Darn, I really needed to ask him about Sidious. That's when Obi-Wan entered the room. You have questions, Padawan? Oh hey, Master Obi-Wan! Yeah, I've been meaning to ask. What's the deal with the Sith? Look around you, Zozo. Everything that exists, all of it, is held together by the Force. The Force is what gives a Jedi his power. It's an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us and binds the galaxy together. The Jedi Order serves the light side of the Force, but the Sith seek power for themselves. And that is the way of the dark side. Well, I better keep making myself stronger with the light side. That way, I won't ever become Darth Sidious's apprentice. After talking with Obi-Wan, I went out to mine for more materials. I came across plenty of iron and coal. Yes. I had enough to make a furnace and smelted the iron, then used it to craft some iron tools and boots. And I even crafted an iron sword, way stronger than the axe I'd been using. Afterwards, I built an armory where I could store all of my new tools. On days 13 to 15, I was eager to get some more training done so I could keep getting stronger with the Force. So, I talked to Obi-Wan to see what I could do to keep following the Jedi path. Well, I can only teach you so much. Experience is one of the wisest teachers there is. And as a Jedi, helping others is always our first priority. So I suggest you go in search of those who need your assistance, learn about the world, and through that, you will strengthen your connection with the Force. Okay, that doesn't sound too hard. Thanks, Master. I won't let you down. Remember, Zozo, a Jedi can feel the Force flowing through him at all times. When in doubt, always reach out with your feelings and trust in the Force to guide you. So I gathered up some more iron and crafted myself some armor for extra protection before heading out to explore the forest and find some people to help. Okay, where to start? Hello? Anyone here need a Jedi? 
I was searching for ages, but there was hardly anyone around. I did run into some Ewoks, but they didn't understand me when I asked if they needed any help, and they didn't seem to need anything anyway. Suddenly, I heard the sound of footsteps drawing near, and a voice yelled at me. You're the Jedi I've been sent to find. Sidious is gonna pay me handsomely for bringing you back to him alive. It was a bounty hunter, sent to capture me for some quick credits. He attacked me, but I was prepared to take him on. I had the wisdom of Obi-Wan's Jedi training, and I was protected by my new armor, too. Plus, with a new sword at the ready, I could fight back. I dodged his attack, then slashed at him, knocking him back. The bounty hunter was one tough nerf herder, but after trading slashes, I eventually was able to come out on top. I did it! I beat you! Then I noticed he dropped something. A potion of regeneration. Whoa, this couldn't have been better timed after a battle like that. Making my way back to the base, I used the potion of regeneration to heal any damage I sustained in the fight. Soon, I'm gonna be a full-blown Jedi. On days 16 to 19, I was really starting to feel like I was getting stronger, so I headed out to explore some more. After all, I wasn't a Jedi Knight yet, and I still needed to find people who needed my help. Despite searching, I didn't end up finding anyone in need, but I did come across an abandoned mine and decided to take a closer look inside. I found a chest someone had left there, and when I opened it up, I found an old diary. It was ancient, it must have been there for quite some time, and written inside of it was the Sith Code. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Obi-Wan was right. Sith like Sidious are really selfish and power hungry. I'll have to get even stronger if I want to defeat him. The chest must have been some kind of trap though, because before I could leave, I was attacked by a squad of more battle droids. There's the Jedi, blast him, roger roger. Lucky for me, my new armor protected me, and the droids were easy to destroy with my sword. They weren't as tough as that bounty hunter from before, so I fought them off and was able to defeat them in no time. On days 20 to 22, I decided to head back to Moss Eisley. If there were people to help, then I'd probably find them there. While on my way back, I saw some small buzz droids bothering some locals and chopping up their speeders. Even though the buzz droids were small, I was able to take them out nice and easy. I must really be getting the hang of this Jedi stuff. To say thanks for helping them out, the locals offered me some enchantments, specifically the protection and projectile protection enchantments. I can use these to upgrade my gear and my armor. With that taken care of, I was feeling strong enough to go back and fight the commando droids that were still keeping R2 prisoner back in that cave. Then, I could reunite him with 3PO. That's someone else I could help. Yes. Don't worry, R2. I came back, and I'm strong enough to get you out of here now. With my new armor and sword, I was able to hold my own against the squad of deadly commando droids. They were still some of the stronger droids I'd come across, and knocked me back. But I kept my swords at the ready, and kept fighting. None of them were expecting me to have trained this hard. They weren't ready to fight a true aspiring Jedi Knight. And just like that, those commando droids were nothing more than scrap. You're welcome, R2. Happy to help. Now come on, let's head back to the base to get you cleaned up. I'm sure 3PO's been worried about you. On days 23 to 26, I brought R2 back to my base and reunited him with 3PO. Here you go, 3PO. One adventurous little astromech droid, back safe and sound. Oh, thank you so much, Zozo. And as for you, R2-D2... Don't start being sarcastic with me, you ungrateful little glob of tin. I've been worried sick about you. How rude. As a matter of fact, it is true. Now don't be ridiculous. I could hardly save you myself. I'm only a protocol droid after all. Stop that. Your lucky Master Zozo here stepped in to help. If it was up to me, I'd have left you with those dastardly commando droids. You guys sure do have a weird friendship. Oh, stop it, R2. Now we just have to take refuge here and hope there aren't any more unsavory characters out there to turn us both into scrap. Don't worry. I'll protect you guys. Hey, I have an idea. 3PO, if you're still worried about danger, why don't I build us a watchtower? You and R2 can keep a lookout and see if you spot any more battle droids. A splendid idea, Master Zozo. So I started working on adding a tower to the base right away. Once that was all finished, I thought it might be handy to have some ranged weapons, in case we needed to take out any enemies from afar. Sure, Obi-Wan had told me a Jedi doesn't use things as clumsy or random as a blaster, but he couldn't be right all the time, could he? So I crafted plenty of arrows, keeping some on me, and loads of spares in a chest. Now I could defend my new friends in case of attack. 
On days 27 to 31, I decided to travel a little further than I had before, so I could gather some more materials, find more people who were in need of my help, and carry on my Jedi training. If I could help enough people, then maybe some of them would help me defend my base against the battle droids and Darth Sidious's other dangerous evildoers. My journey brought me to a watery area near the shores where there was a lot of rain. I could hardly see anything in the storm. While I was searching around the area, I came across some guys in white armor. They told me they were clone troopers, soldiers created as an army to fight alongside the Jedi and defend the Republic. The troopers seemed like they'd be a big help, so I sent them back to my base, and they marched off to go and help with the defenses. Next, I decided to gather some more stone. These are the stone shores, after all, that I could bring back to base to improve my defenses. Everything I crafted was helping me learn more and more about being a Jedi, and I was feeling stronger with the Force every minute. I'd be a Jedi Knight in no time. When I got back to the base, Master Yoda was there, and he seemed pretty concerned as he came up to me. Padawan Zozo, your help we require. Huh? Under attack, people are, by an army of battle droids. No, of course I'll help. Go with you, I will and enlist the help of clones we shall. A grave and uncertain time this is, clouded by the dark side of the Force, the future has become. On days 32 to 35, we made our way off into the world to help people. There were battle droids everywhere. It could have only been the work of Darth Sidious. But lucky for us, we had the clone troopers with us too, watching our backs and ready to bring the fight to those droids. Yoda and I had to spring into action to save them. There were Gungan warriors trying to hold their own against the battle droids, but then a squad of destroyer droids rolled in. Don't worry, everyone. We're here to save you. Patience, Zozo. I rushed at them with my sword while Yoda followed me, and the clones helped out during the fight. But soon, Yoda was quickly surrounded by some of the destroyer droids, and in seconds they had the Jedi Master cornered. Get away from him! I tried to fend them off so they didn't harm him, but I was no match for these droids. They destroyed Master Yoda! No! I couldn't believe it. I wanted to take my revenge. With the help of my clone friends, we defeated the rest of the destroyer droids and helped save the Gungans. But it was too late for the wisest Jedi Master. Even worse, I had let my anger get the better of me and taken revenge. I needed to be careful and remember Yoda's teaching so that I didn't fall to the dark side like Darth Sidious wanted. On days 36 to 39, I set off in search of someone who could help me. Things were still crazy. There were more and more droids showing up. A huge army that was too big for me and the clones to fight. We need to be able to protect people, but we're outnumbered. If only Yoda was still here, he'd know what to do. Oh, I know. I need to find someone else who's just as old and wise. Obi-Wan taught me that experience is the best teacher. So I started looking around for anyone who could help. That was when I came across this old man. His name was Palpatine, and he had been put in charge of the Senate while the droid army was still a threat. I'm so glad you turned to me for help, Zozo. You see, I don't think that the Jedi have enough trust in you. Why would you say that? Obi-Wan's been making sure I get proper training. Of course, I'm sure he is. Listen to me, I need help with something. If you can do something for me, I can offer you my guidance in return. Your guidance? Why? There are things the Jedi won't tell you, Zozo. But first, there are a group of droids sent by our enemies to endanger me. Please protect me from them. I was more than happy to help. After all, I'd already scrapped tons of droids before, so this was bound to be no trouble. I found them nearby, but I had been expecting some ordinary battle droids. These ones were Magna Guards. They were much, much stronger than anything I'd faced before. But I fought with all my might and struck them down one by one. Good, Zozo. Good. You've done well. You've done well. That's what they get for trying to harm you. Now, what were you saying before? The Jedi are keeping secrets? Why would they do that? Ah, well listen closely. I can help you if you want. Yes, please. Have you ever heard of the tragedy of Darth Plagueis the Wise? It's a Sith legend, not a story the Jedi would ever tell you. So Palpatine started telling me a story of an old Sith Lord who'd learned the power to stop people from dying. Things were starting to get confusing. The Jedi told me the Sith were evil, and I was trying to avoid the dark side so I didn't become Darth Sidious' apprentice. But what if joining the Sith was a way I could keep people safe? 
On days 40 to 43, I decided to make a few improvements around the place. I added torches and bookshelves for extra light and to keep some Jedi texts to read on my downtime and continue my training. Once I was done, I checked in with the clone troopers, who all seemed to be worked up about something. Hey, what's going on, guys? There's been a rebellion, sir. The Jedi are trying to overthrow Chancellor Palpatine. We need to alert the other clones. I couldn't believe it. Why were the Jedi trying to take over? I built a few signs to put up to warn people and get the clones to help out. And pretty soon, a whole squad of troopers had shown up, ready for the job. I had to make a barracks for the clone troopers, so I built it off my base and filled it with bunk beds so they would all have a place to sleep. One of the clones came to find me while I was working. Those Jedi traitors won't know what hit them. I heard a rumor about where Obi-Wan might have gone. You should go and track him down. And see if he can help us? Or see whose side he's on. Our intel suggests he escaped through a nether portal to the east. If you can journey to the nether, you might be able to find him. It almost sounded like it couldn't be true. Why would Obi-Wan do this? On days 44 to 49, I journeyed out to find my old master. I found the nether portal that the clone trooper told me about in the middle of the forest. I guess it's now or never. Gotta have faith in the force. I jumped into the portal and was transported to the nether. It was a strange and scary place, full of lava, fire, and hostile mobs. Why would Obi-Wan be hiding here? But I couldn't dwell on questions. I needed to keep tracking him, even through the nether. When I arrived at his coordinates, I couldn't see anyone at first, but then I saw a figure approaching me. Hello? I walked towards them, only to realize it was Palpatine. He had really been Darth Sidious all along. <laughs> I knew I could make you fall to the dark side and become my apprentice. Do you see the lies of the Jedi's teachings now? You're a Sith Lord. I should take you down right now. You've been causing so much chaos all over the place. Why do you even want me to be your apprentice anyway? Yes, give in to your hatred. If you strike me down, your journey to the dark side will be complete. And as for why, I only want the same thing you do. I want peace, a world without fighting or suffering. I want order, and the Jedi would stand in the way of that. But the Jedi believe in peace too. They want to be in control of everything themselves, and so they have to go. Henceforth, you shall be known as Darth Vader. Together, you and I will bring an end to the Jedi, my new apprentice. Now do what must be done, Lord Vader. Do not hesitate. Show no mercy. And with that, I transformed. The long, black cloak. The imposing height. The scary black helmet. I was no longer a Skywalker. I was the new Sith Lord, Darth Vader. He also dropped me a lightsaber. Wait, why is that? Darth Sidious dashed off, laughing, and in his place was my old master, Obi-Wan. Zozo, you have allowed this Dark Lord to twist your mind, and now you've become the very thing you swore to destroy. Don't lecture me, Obi-Wan. Palpatine told me that the Jedi are plotting to take over, and if you're not with me, then you're my enemy. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. I will do what I must. Obi-Wan had much more training as a Jedi than me. I didn't want to fight, but I had no other choice. So I drew my lightsaber and got ready for a fight. On days 50 to 53, I fought hard against my former Jedi master. Sozo, Chancellor Palpatine is evil. You said that about the Sith too, but they can stop people from dying. What if, from my point of view, the Jedi are evil? Well, then you are lost. Our fight raged on. Obi-Wan was a skilled Jedi, but he had taught me everything he knew. I knew his fighting style, and there was no trick he could pull on me. Or so I thought. He was able to knock me down, but it wasn't enough. I got back up again, relying on all of my training and everything I had learned to block his attacks quickly. I had gotten a lot better at fighting droids, but I'd never thought I'd be fighting my old master. We fought and fought until eventually, I gave one more swing of my lightsaber and I defeated Obi-Wan. I did it! I won this battle! Hopefully that means there's no more to come. Hey, wait, what's this? I looked on the ground where Obi-Wan fell at the end of our fight. There was a journal. Hey, this says that there are two more Skywalkers like me and that once they get trained in the ways of the Force, they'll be able to defeat me and Darth Sidious. I better start getting ready for when that time comes. On days 54 to 57, I left the nether and ventured off to find the other Skywalkers. I wasn't going to give up my search for the two of them, especially if they could help me overthrow the new Emperor and rule by my side. 
I had to keep looking and see if I could find them, or if it was all just another one of Sidious's traps. In the distance, I could see that someone had set up a camp nearby. As I got closer, I spotted a group of rebel soldiers all gathered around a campfire. Oh no! I have to stop them! I tried to hold back and keep myself out of sight. I drew my bow and started firing at the rebels, using the element of surprise to my advantage. Oh no! It's Lord Vader! We have to get out of here! Everyone run! And it worked! They began to scatter when I landed the first hit. Take that, you rebel scum! Instead of trying to calm them down, I decided to get right to the fighting instead. I couldn't help it. My anger was getting the better of me. I had really fallen to the dark side. I rushed in with my lightsaber and fought them with everything I had. Quick, let's get out of here! The rebels ran away, leaving me alone. Hey look, it's a sacred Jedi text. This will teach me even more ways to use the Force and how to get stronger. I used it and grew even stronger than before. And I gained two more hearts. With Obi-Wan slain and Darth Sidious more powerful than ever, I returned to my base and told the clone trooper the good news. Excellent work, Sith Lord Zozo. Seemingly is true what the prophecy said about you. You are destined to be the chosen one, the most powerful force user of all. That sounded pretty good to me. On days 58 to 62, I worked on improving things at the base. Now that Obi-Wan was gone, it was mostly just me staying there. And that was kind of sad. So I decided to cheer myself up and make it even better. The clone troopers that had been living in the barracks now needed to become stormtroopers, so I needed a way to make more tools and new weapons for them. I worked on making a bigger crafting area and expanded the armory, so we'd have lots of extra storage space for the new equipment. Then I headed off to a nearby mine where I could find lots of diamonds. I dug deep down and sure enough, there were plenty of diamonds to be found. I used an iron pickaxe to mine out as many diamonds as I could carry and took them back to the base. I used every single diamond and forged them into a brand new set of diamond armor, along with a pickaxe and a new sword to match. Next, I thought about gathering some extra food for the stormtroopers, so I crafted myself a fishing rod in case I had a chance to catch fish when I visited new areas. On days 63 to 66, Emperor Palpatine came to visit me at my base, which was quickly becoming my very own castle. What is thy bidding, my master? There has been a great disturbance in the Force, Lord Zozo. I have felt it too. We have a new enemy. The children of Skywalker must not be allowed to become Jedi. If they could be turned, they could be powerful allies. Yes, indeed. For now, build your strength, Lord Zozo. Gather resources. There is another cave nearby with plenty of diamonds to mine. Thank you. It shall be done, Master. I really missed my old master, Obi-Wan Kenobi, but it seemed like I was stuck with the Emperor for now. I set off to the next cave to start mining for even more diamonds. Inside, I saw a group of bounty hunters. I got ready to fight them, grabbing my lightsaber and leaping into action. Hey, it's Lord Zozo. Wait, you weren't looking for me? But I fought a bounty hunter before who tried to kill me. We were hired to help fight the rebels and track down the Skywalkers. We're gonna help you, as long as we get paid. Very well. There will be a substantial reward for the one who finds the Skywalkers. You are free to use any methods necessary, but I want them alive. No disintegrations. As you wish. We were tracking a group of rebels who might know where to find the Skywalkers. They're in an underground base somewhere in these caves. Return to my castle for now. I will deal with these rebel scum and come meet you when I am finished. On days 67 to 70, I traveled deeper into the caves in search of the underground base where the rebels were meant to be hiding. If I could find them, I might be able to learn of the Skywalker's whereabouts and get to them before the Emperor did. If I can get them to join with me instead, then perhaps together we can overthrow Lord Sidious and rule the galaxy together. Before I could think about my plans anymore though, I spotted a smuggler and a Wookiee warrior in the caves. They must have been part of the Rebel Alliance. Maybe they knew where I could find the Skywalkers. I had heard that Wookiees were much stronger than an average person, so I would have to be careful. I started looking around for a way to sneak past, but the pair of them were blocking my path. There was no other way. I'll have to fight my way through. There's nothing else to do. So be it. I thought about how much danger I had already faced so far and how much worse Lord Sidious was. If I wanted to beat him in the end, then I had to fight. I attacked the pair of them. The smuggler and the Wookiee managed to dodge out of the way of my attacks. Should we look out? It's the Sith Lord Zozo. I decided to focus on one of them at a time, so I turned to the Wookiee and attacked him with my sword. He was pretty tough, but was knocked back when I got a good hit in. The smuggler tried to sneak up behind me, but I spun around and hit him too. It was a pretty intense battle, but eventually I was able to win with the help of my shiny new diamond sword. 
Once they were defeated, they dropped some information about one of the Skywalkers. His name was Luke, and there was a map leading to his location. Now I just had to find him. On days 71 to 74, I started traveling toward the location on the map. As I was searching for Luke, I saw a strange message that someone had written on the map. It said, if you're enjoying this adventure, find more Zozo videos by searching for Z-O-Z-O. -Z -O. And don't forget to like and subscribe. On my journey, I decided I would make a quick stop at a river to fish, hoping to catch some food for myself and some extra to bring back to the stormtroopers at my base. I caught a few fish, plenty to feed the stormtroopers and myself for the rest of my search. But then, Emperor Palpatine appeared before me. So, fishing on the job, Lord Zozo. You should be looking for Skywalker. We must turn him to the dark side if we are to survive. What if he can't be turned though, Master? He will. And once he does, he will be my newest apprentice. What about me? I know what you've been planning, Lord Zozo. You think you and young Skywalker can overthrow me, but neither one of you can stand against the full power of the dark side. Just as I pulled out my lightsaber, the Emperor attacked me with his deadly force lightning. Unlimited power! I tried my best, but it still wasn't strong enough to defeat him. I had to run away to save myself but it seemed like Palpatine let me get away. He knew I was scared of him and was using my fear against me. I just needed to stay alive to get stronger and find Luke, so I headed back to my base. On days 75 to 78, I got to work improving my base again. I had to make it even more secure, just in case Palpatine ever attacked the base itself. It was like I was losing all of my allies. Turning to the dark side is no fun at all. Luckily, I had a great idea to make an underground bunker beneath the main base, somewhere I could hide out if the Emperor came to attack before I was ready. I got to work on the bunker, and before long, I had a great big underground hideout to go to if the Emperor attacked before I was strong enough, or before I'd gotten Luke to help me beat him. After I was done, some of the Bounty Hunter gang came to me with a gift. It was a red lightsaber, a powerful weapon suited to a Sith Lord like me. We heard you were trying to overthrow the Emperor, so take this lightsaber to help you get stronger while you're searching for Skywalker. With my new weapons and the knowledge that other people believe in my quest to take down the Emperor, I grew bigger and gained more hearts. On day 79 to 84, I decided to test my new strength while I was trying to track down Luke again. I went out into the desert and found some Gamorreans to fight with. Time to try out my shiny new lightsaber. The vicious biggie aliens came at me with their axes, but I quickly knocked them back and took them all out. After I defeated the rest of the Gamorreans, I realized they had been keeping two familiar droids prisoner. R2 and 3PO. Is that you? To my surprise, it was my two old friends. It can't be. Oh, thank the maker, Master Zozo, it is you. Thank you for saving us from those ghastly Gamorreans. Oh, don't be rude, R2. Yes, I know he does look different, but he's still the same Zozo at heart. Hey, you're right. And now I'm much stronger, too. Say, can you guys help me find someone? Of course, sir. We'd be happy to help. I need to find Luke Skywalker. On days 85 to 89, I went back to my base while 3PO and R2 went to find out where Luke was. But when I got back, my castle was under attack by an army of stormtroopers. They had scout troopers with them and a huge ATST walker. This could only have been the work of the Emperor. He knew I wanted Luke's help to defeat him and was trying to smash up my base to stop me. There were so many of them, it was dangerous just trying to get close. Thankfully, I still had my bow and plenty of arrows that I had made earlier. I might be better with my lightsaber, but I'm still a mean shot. I hit a number of the scout troopers, causing the stormtroopers to turn heel and run. But the big ATST was still attacking my base. The walker was so much taller than me. I had to be careful if I wanted to take it down. One stomp and I would be gone. I rushed at the ATST, swinging my sword at its legs. If I could take out one of them, I could cause the whole walker to topple over and come crashing down. I had to stay calm, use the force, and remember all the lessons I had learned from Yoda and Obi-Wan, even though they weren't with me anymore. Patience, that's what Obi-Wan was always saying. With a few well-placed swings of my sword, the ATST was done for and fell right over to the ground. When it was over, someone appeared from nearby and came up to me. I knew there was still good in you. I turned around to see who it was, and even though we hadn't met before, I knew it was Luke. I was so happy to see him. On days 90 to 94, I headed off the same direction that the stormtroopers had run off in after causing so much destruction to my base. After what felt like hours of tracking, I found a cave. This has got to be where they're hiding out. I better take a look. I'll get those stormtroopers to tell me where the Emperor is hiding. I snuck into the cave and saw that it was empty. 
except for one strange figure standing alone, almost like he was waiting for me. He was dressed in black robes, similar to the Emperor, but he had red skin and horns sticking out of his head. I could sense he was strong in the dark side of the Force. Who are you? I have gone by many names, but you may call me Maul. Darth Maul. My master, Lord Sidious, revived me and sent me here to make sure you don't stand a chance of overthrowing him. Why would you work for him? The Emperor only cares about himself. Once he's finished with you, he'll find another new apprentice to replace you, so you don't end up turning on him too. No, we will rule the galaxy side by side, something you could never do. Now draw your weapon, Vader, and let's end this. I drew my lightsaber, ready for a fight. After all of my training and experience, I was feeling more ready than ever to take down this new enemy. But when Darth Maul rushed at me, I knew it wasn't gonna be an easy fight. I had never fought another Sith before. He was skillful in the ways of the dark side. He was incredibly fast and strong, definitely the toughest opponent I had faced so far. I needed a moment to think, so I ran back away from him and stood ready to defend myself. On days 95 and 97, I continued battling against Darth Maul in the cave. It was a pretty close battle. We were evenly matched, but putting some space between us helped give me a moment to wait before I could land a critical strike. I dealt some extra damage to Maul, which gave me the advantage I needed. No, mercy, please have mercy. I stopped for a second. I had already defeated him, knocking him down, but I didn't completely destroy him. If I struck him down in anger, I'd never be able to get back from the dark side. So instead, I spared him. With Darth Maul beaten and not going anywhere, I decided to look around the cave for anything I could use and found myself a shiny new battle axe. That was bound to come in handy. I turned back to the fallen Maul. Now then, let's get you back to my base. You're gonna tell me everything about where the Emperor is hiding so Luke and I can go and deal with him once and for all. I took Darth Maul back to my base and put him in the barracks there. After all, those stormtroopers weren't using the place anymore. Tell me where I can find the Emperor. Fine. I can draw you a map to the new battle station he's building, and you'll let me go afterwards? Only if you promise to turn your back on the dark side. I fear it might be too late for that. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Don't be afraid. Just give being good a try. Thanks to Maul, I now knew where Luke and I had to go to get rid of the Emperor once and for all. On day 98, after getting the new map from Maul, I decided to make a final check on everything at my base before setting off. Luke had brought my two old droid friends R2 and 3PO back, along with some of his friends too. As I was meeting them, I realized I did recognize a couple of them. It was Han Solo and Chewbacca, the smuggler and the Wookiee I had fought earlier while searching for Luke. Relax, Chewie. Luke told us the situation. Lucky for us, we survived that encounter in the cave. Ah. Yes, yeah, sorry about that. I'm so glad to see the two of you are recovering well. Well, we wouldn't be if it wasn't for Leia over there. Next, they introduced me to Princess Leia. It turned out she was the other Skywalker, and that meant she and Luke were actually brother and sister. Wow. Then, a pair of glowing Force ghosts appeared. It was my two old masters, Obi-Wan and Yoda. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I never thought I'd see the day when you turned back to the light, Zozo. But beware, you must. Do not underestimate the powers of the Emperor or suffer the same fate you will. I believe in him. I've sensed the good in him. We can defeat the Emperor together. Then, may the Force be with you. It seems like everyone believed I had what it took. With Luke and his amazing friends in my corner, the Emperor didn't stand a chance. On day 99, I followed the map that Maul had made to Emperor Palpatine's lair. It was now or never, with only one more day left, or I would be lost to the dark side of the Force forever. Plus, I had to help protect Luke too. There was no way I was going to let the Emperor bring him over to the dark side too. We won't fail. I know it. Thank you, Luke. We soon reached a massive battle station under construction, with armor made out of diamonds to protect it from damage. And the place was swarming with stormtroopers. There were so many of them, but I wasn't scared. I knew that I could take them all on, because this time, I wasn't alone. I had Luke by my side, and the Force was strong with both of us. On day 100, Luke Skywalker and I fought our way through the stormtroopers and headed inside the Diamond Death Star. The whole place was crawling with troopers, but Luke and I managed to get through into a large open room with a throne at one end. And sitting in it was Emperor Palpatine himself, cackling loudly. <laughs> so, you have brought me young Skywalker after all. No, we're here to stop you. Your reign is at an end, your highness. You failed. So be it, Jedi. If you will not be turned, you will be destroyed. Suddenly, he started to shoot at Luke with his force lightning. Young fool. 
Your feeble skills are no match for the power of the dark side. Now you will pay the price for your lack of vision. No! I pulled out my new battle axe and rushed in to defend Luke. But before I could attack, the Emperor used the force to throw me aside, and I dropped my axe. You couldn't destroy me before. You don't really believe you'll destroy me now, do you? You underestimate the power of the dark side. Zozo, please, help. My lightsaber, I still had that. I didn't let up. Luke needed my help. I could feel the light side of the force returning to me as I raced towards Palpatine. He turned to try and defend himself from me, which meant Luke could get back up to help. The hate is swelling in you now. Take your weapons and strike me down. Give in to your anger. It is unavoidable. It is your destiny. You are both mine. No, we don't have to be like you. I rushed at the Emperor with my lightsaber and knocked him back. He fell down a huge chasm in his battle station, screaming as he went down and down until he exploded. Luke, help me take this mask off. Let's not stick around here. I've still got to save you. You already have, Luke. You were right. You were right about me. And thanks to Luke, I had come back to the light side.